We'll start this video off with a few tweets from Mike McKenna. He is a former NHL goaltender who is now a host on the Daily Faceoff show as well as on Sirius XM NHL Radio. Two days ago on Twitter, he talked about the Robin Lehner situation before we had the update that we actually had yesterday that shattered the entire collective hockey mind as to what was going on over here. Mike McKenna said on Twitter that when it comes to the goaltending drama in Vegas, he could write a senior thesis on the topic. The bottom line is that they bungled everything with Marc-Andre Fleury, and as a result, Robin Lehner was set up to fail. He then clarified what exactly that meant. The reason Lehner was set to fail, in his opinion, was he was the guy to replace Marc-Andre Fleury. Lehner had to win a Stanley Cup in order to be accepted by the fanbase, which is completely unfair. Now, before we expand onto what actually happened later on in the next few days, because of course this tweet was from April 24th, Robin Lehner was in a position where, as we highlighted in a few videos already, the guy's scrutiny from the fan base was absolutely vitriol. You go over into the comments section of Vegas Golden Knights posts and you talk about Robin Lehner, you see all the replies, you see everybody talking smack about this guy. Sure, Fleury had a really good season last year, was a Vezina winner for a reason. But as McKenna said, Robin Lehner was put in a situation where he absolutely needed to be fantastic to live up to the legacy that Fleury had. And any night where he wasn't fantastic, you could see the impulsive and bratty fan base of the Vegas Golden Knights all going out there and just laying the hammer down on the guy that's supposed to be their number one goalie. Now, that's not even talking about the injury stuff. We talked about how it was reported that Robin Lehner was going to get season-ending surgery, but then he didn't end up getting the surgery right away. Peter DeBoer said, no, sorry, he's not on the IR. He's not getting surgery. He's going to be still suiting up. We expect him to be at practice, even though there was a report going around that he had this surgery. But now we had ourselves the actual confirmation of everything from yesterday. So... Take a look at this article, Golden Knights Robin Lehner to have season-ending shoulder surgery. After initially denying reports about Lehner undergoing season-ending surgery and the goaltender dressing as the Vegas Golden Knights backup, the team said he will have a shoulder operation after all. They made this announcement on Monday, that he would undergo surgery to repair a left shoulder injury he suffered on February 9th. He initially rehabbed and was able to return to play March 1st, but Lehner was not 100% healthy down the stretch, while the team's playoff hopes faded and the decision was made for him to have it taken care of. You then see the tweet of them recalling Yara Patera to the Golden Knights. The team said in the statement that Lehner had done his best to battle through his injury. It's the same shoulder he had cleanup surgery on in October of 2020. This is the really funny part. Coach Peter DeBoer last week denied reports that Lehner was having surgery, saying he expected a 30-year-old Swede to be in uniform Sunday night against the San Jose Sharks. Lehner backed up Logan Thompson, who allowed two goals to the Sharks in the final two minutes of regulation on the way to a stunning 5-4 shootout loss that makes it incredibly unlikely for the Vegas Golden Knights to qualify for the playoffs. By the way, have you not seen a night where the entire collective NHL fan base? aside Vegas fans, of course, was all on board for one cause. Go Sharks Go! It was kind of hilarious seeing everybody go out there and cheer for San Jose. And then, of course, the result. Timo Meyer tying it up with two seconds left. Logan Thompson giving up the only goal in the shootout to Thomas Bordalo, of all people, a gosh darn rookie who has only played, like, four games so far. He was always a really nifty, crafty, skilled guy, so seeing him do what he did in the shootout is not surprising to me. But... It's poetic, is it not? Seeing everybody go out there and cheer on the downfall of the Golden Knights. Now, a lot of people can say, oh, why do you want to go against Vegas? What is it that they do that is so warranting of all this hate? Well, aside from the fan base and aside from the really annoying Twitter guy, a lot of it has to do with the way they treat their players. And the flurry situation from last year definitely did not do a part in helping that reputation. But it gets even worse when you understand what happened with Robin Lehner and the entire situation of his season-ending surgery. Here's Friedman from a few days ago on April 23rd saying, The best I can piece together is that he is playing hurt. He was upset at some criticism and from being pulled the other night, he told Vegas on April 21st he was getting the surgery, but they shut it down. In the last day or two, everybody was trying to get a solution that would have him in the lineup. I guess we'll find out tomorrow.
And we did find out the next day. That was when Robin later backed up Thompson, and Thompson lost to San Jose. This is why, ultimately, I decided to title this video the way that I did, though. Shame on Vegas, because this tweet from Emily Kaplan from yesterday goes over everything that was reported as to how it actually went down, and it confirms pretty much what happened with Elliot Friedman and his comments. ESPN sources say, according to Kaplan, Robin Lehner told Vegas on Thursday he was getting the surgery. The team doctor agreed it was the best course of action after evaluation on Saturday. But then, the team asked Lehner to delay the surgery and the evaluation and back up last night before allowing it. They cited cap implications as the reason why they wanted to delay it, per sources. Now, this is one tweet. But I think it's so important to acknowledge what the hell the Vegas Golden Knights are doing with this process. Robin Lehner, he says he's getting surgery. The team doctor says, yeah, that's the best course of action. We evaluated this guy the other day. Look, his body is like this, his shoulder is like that. We got to get this guy surgery. And the team says, okay, hold up there, old sport. You can get the surgery. We'll allow you to get the surgery. That's what we do We're Vegas. We allow guys to get surgeries. That's what we did with Eichel. That's why he came here. But before we let you get that surgery, Robin, here's one more game on the bench. Could you not imagine, like, already knowing that a guy is hurt, already knowing he's been playing hurt for months, and telling him, okay, sorry, we can't let you do the surgery just yet. You gotta back up Logan Thompson one more time, right? And the reason you give is, oh, cap implications. Cap impl It's cap stuff. We can't get you on the LTIR yet. It's cap stuff. Am I the only one that's freaking out about this? How irresponsible do you have to be to take a guy who you already know is injured and throw him into a game even as a backup? Like, okay, Logan Thompson is playing. It's not Laner's game. But you're just one groin pull away or one offensive rush from the Sharks that results in a trip that ends up taking Thompson out away from Robin Lehner, who is already confirmed to be hurt, going out there and playing in yet another hockey game after getting the recommendation from your own doctor that he should go and get that surgery. Sure, the disaster day scenario didn't happen. Logan Thompson finished the game. He played all the way to a shootout for crying out loud. But just the possibility that Robin Lehner would have had to gone out there should something have happened, it's kind of, like, I'm befuddled here. How do you allow this to happen? How do you say, okay, yeah, the team doctor says you need to get a surgery? Sorry, no, here's one more game before you get that surgery. Why? Because cap implications. We can't call up Yuri Patera yet. You've got to play. Like, he's playing hurt the whole time, and the Vegas Golden Knights don't even have the decency to say, okay, sorry, here's the surgery. They have to say, okay, no, we'll stretch it out one more. You can play one more, right? You can play in the backup role, one more, go out for warm-up, suit up, sit up on the bench. If Logan Thompson gets hurt, then hey, you're going in there, but hopefully he doesn't. Vegas, man. I can't even tell if this entire level of irresponsibility is because of only the cap problems. Oh, because they didn't trade Dadanov to Anaheim. This is what's happening now. You have to play Robin Lehner even though he's hurt. Like, I don't know if that's the reason, but still, just the fact that it happened that way, both he and the doctor say, hey, he's got to get the surgery, and they say, no, do it later. Like, the situation gets crazier and crazier by the day, and you still have Peter DeBoer going out there and talking smack about this guy in the media. Like, now I understand fully, to the most extent possible, why Sarah Bailey and all the people that are involved in the NHL rumor sphere are talking about Laner as if this guy's the second coming, because this guy's dealt with so much, and he's been thrown into a situation where he's set up to fail from the very beginning. Vegas fans are not treating him kindly. The Vegas coach is not treating him kindly. The Vegas team is not treating him kindly. He's getting pulled in 1-1 one -one ties. The fans are scrutinizing his name to the moon and back. And he's getting told to play, not even play, but suit up as a backup in a game where he already had the recommendation from the doctor to get a surgery because his shoulder has been acting up for the past month. Vegas, shame on you guys. Shame on you. I hope you miss the playoffs. I hope you guys miss the playoffs for years. Ay ay ay. I said at the beginning of the season, oh, I already hate the Seattle Kraken because they beat Vancouver in a preseason game. That was a joke. But for Vegas, everybody can kind of look at this situation and be like, wow, like, what are you doing? How do you treat a guy like this? The collective body of what the Vegas Golden Knights are. How do you treat a guy like this? The organization, the coach, the fans, 
It blows my mind. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts about this entire Lanar situation. This might be the last video we make about it because, yeah, I hope it is. Like, I hope there isn't any more crazy shenanigans that we have to cover, but let me know your thoughts in the comments either way. I hope you enjoyed this video of Charles and I and I. And bye.